Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Wix, the website builder that allows anyone to build themselves a beautiful custom website. Get started by clicking the link down below and join the over 150 million people around the world getting creative with Wix. Big thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. Now today, I'm going to be making and tasting Pruno, otherwise known as prison hooch or prison wine. It is probably the most requested prison recipe that I have received. If you've missed my prison recipe taste test videos, I will point you to the playlist above and down below. So before we even get started, a little disclaimer, this video is made for entertainment purposes only. Please follow your local laws with regards to alcohol. Thank you very much. So Pruno or hooch is prison made alcohol. You can basically make alcohol with anything that contains sugar. So things that might be used to create Pruno would be fruit of any kind, fruit cocktail, oranges, apples, anything that contains sugar, ketchup, jam, sugar packets, honey, all of those things contain sugar and that is what is consumed by yeast to create alcohol. So there are all kinds of nightmarish stories about how Pruno is made in plastic bags, sometimes in toilets, all kinds of these gnarly stories. But if you can imagine being in a place where you have a lot of time on your hands and not a lot to do with it, I can imagine something like Pruno would be a fast way to escape. So I've both made and tasted lots of prison recipes that came from mostly these two books. So this is Prison Ramen, it's written by Clifton Collins Jr and Goose Alvarez. And this is Commissary Kitchen, my infamous prison cookbook written by Prodigy who just recently passed away. May he rest in peace. Prison Ramen actually includes a Pruno recipe, but I decided to use a Pruno recipe that I found on the internet and it comes from a poem written by Jarvis Masters. So a week ago I got started on my Pruno project. So on day one I peeled 10 oranges and I placed them into a plastic bag. Then I took eight ounces of canned fruit cocktail. Because my bags were kind of small, I divided this up into two bags so I'd have enough room to crush everything up. Crush everything up really well. You want a really good mash. You want to get as much sugar out of this as possible. Then we're going to add 16 ounces of water. So now you're going to seal up the bags and we're going to submerge them in some warm water. Imagine this being a sink or maybe even a toilet. We're going to add lots of warm water to this and let these bags soak for about 15 minutes just to warm them up and to activate the kind of fermenting process. After they've sat for 15 minutes, we're going to take the bags out and wrap them in towels. Keep them in a warm spot and do not disturb them for two days. On day three, we're going to unwrap our fruit cocktail orange mixture. And now we're going to add 50 cubes of sugar and six packets of ketchup. And then we're gonna knead this all in, make sure everything is well incorporated. And then we're gonna place these in a hot water bath for 30 minutes. Again, this is to kickstart the fermenting process. So after 30 minutes, we're gonna dry the bags off, rewrap them, and then store them for another day. So on day four and day five, you'll begin to notice that the bag is going to swell and inflate with gas. So we're gonna unseal the bag and burp it so that the bags don't burst. On day six, we're gonna again place the bags into some warm water, reheat them for 15 minutes, take them out, wrap them back up. We're gonna do that for day six, day seven, and day eight. So by day eight or nine or 10, your Pruno should be ready. You'll notice that the bags will not inflate as much. The fermentation process is complete because all that sugar has been consumed and converted into alcohol. And it definitely smells like Pruno. As this was going along, it definitely developed kind of a whiny smell to it, which is kind of amazing because I didn't add any yeast to this. Now in Prison Ramen, Goose talks about filtering the Pruno through a sock, either clean or dirty. I'm gonna use an old shirt. Now I'm gonna take the bag and I'm gonna just open it a little bit and try to just hand filter some of this out. There we go. And that way it'll pass through faster. So when I was initially making the mash, I was kind of skeptical in terms of the amount of water that was in here. It looked pretty thick. There wasn't a lot of liquid, but once I added the sugar cubes to the recipe, a lot of the juice became noticeable or present. So I thought that was really interesting. The bag actually is a good way to kind of keep much of the solids separated. It smells a little bile -less. I'm gonna stir this a little bit to kind of encourage things. Take this off. And there is our, there it is. Let's pour some in a glass. Wow, a little bit 
cloudy. It smells a little bit like kombucha. It's got kind of a vinegary, fruity smell to it. A little bit like wine. Yeah, alrighty, let's give our Pernod a taste. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely alcohol in there. Kind of amazing. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Ah, well, it's not great. But it's really not that bad. I think the thing I was really worried about was the addition of ketchup. Six packets of ketchup, I'm like, whoa, okay, come on, ketchup, really? This actually is not bad. I can taste the fruit in this. All these other reviews and all the other taste tests that I've seen, people said that Pruno was horrendous, terrible, awful. This is not terrible. Surprisingly, the fruity flavors actually really come through. I can taste the citrus. I can't taste fruit cocktail, <laughs> but definitely fruity. And while you can taste the alcohol in there, it's not super strong and super bitter and harsh as I've had in some of my other alcohol brewing experiments. This is much more like wine. The fermentation process is pretty complete. It's not syrupy. The sugar has been converted to alcohol or a large amount of it, but it still has a fruity flavor. This actually is not bad. There's a slight little bit of effervescence to it, just a tiny little bit. But it's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's not. I know it's hard to believe, but really it's not. I think especially once you've strained and filtered all the chunky bits and it doesn't look like vomit, and you have that separation, it's actually not bad, surprisingly. I'm shocked. Of my home brews, this is probably one of the better ones I've had. Definitely better than corn cob wine, and it might even be better than the grape juice wine that I made. That one was very, very harsh, while this one is not. This is much mellower, and this is from a wild crafted yeast. Maybe that's why. Light and fruity. It'd probably be even better if it was chilled. It reminds me a lot of a wine cooler, actually. It has a really strong fruity flavor to it, along with a wine flavor. So on that note, let me tell you a little bit more about Wix. So Wix is a website builder that allows you to create a custom, beautiful website all on your own. Wix has amazing tools that allow you to customize your website with things like a shop. So Wix is a website builder that allows you to make a beautiful custom website all on your own. So I like using Wix because it's very intuitive. There's drag and drop functions that allow you to customize your website to include things like storefront for your merchandise, a gallery for your images, or a place to put your menus. It's really great to have those tools available. So I designed my own website using Wix. There are over 500 different designer design templates to choose from, which makes the whole process less daunting. So web hosting is both fast and secure and if you run into any trouble there's a support team ready and waiting for you 24 hours a day seven days a week so get started by clicking the link down below and joining the over 150 million people around the world using wix big thanks to wix for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that one and i hope you guys learned something please share this video with your friends follow me on social media like this video subscribe and i shall see you in the next one Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Squeeze the bag.